Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we are looking at the final area of measurement which is volume. So what is volume? Well volume is the amount of space that a 3D object occupies. So if we're, oh sorry, and we're talking about um, in terms of units being their cubic millimetres, cubic centimetres and cubic metres because they're a three-dimensional shape. So if we look at the pool, the pool's volume is the amount of space it occupies, the amount of space it takes up. And if we look at the tissue, a tissue box, it's the amount of space, again, that it takes up. So how do we find the volume of a shape? So to find the volume of a prism, so that's a shape that repeats itself over and over again, like a block of cheese. A block of cheese is a rectangle that continues over and over again. You can slice it. No matter where you slice it along that rectangle, you still get that same shape. So that's called a prism. And to find the volume of a prism, you take the area of, the, of one of the sides and multiply it by the height. Another way we say it is V equals A times H or V equals AH. This means exactly the same thing. This means area of the base times height. So if we look here, the area of our base is the area of this bit here. And we know how to work out the area of this bit because we can work out the area of a rectangle. Then you're going to multiply it by the height. So we get the area of the base times by the area of the height. Now when we're working with measurements for length, width and height, before we can start to find the area and the volume, we need to make sure they are first in the same units. So never, like with area, never try and convert the units of measurement after you've found the volume because there is a way of doing it, but we're not going to learn it. It's a bit more confusing, so we're going to convert them beforehand. So find the volume of the following shape. So the first thing we can do is find how many cubes are in the top layer. So here we have one, two, three along this way, and one, two, three, four along this way. So what we do is we go four times three equals 12. And if we count here, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can see here we've got 12 in the top layer. But that's just one layer. There's two layers here. So what we're going to do is find how many cubes would be in two layers. And to do this, we go 12, which is how many are in the top layer, times 2, which gives us 24 cubes in two layers. So then what we say is therefore, which is what these three dots mean, Therefore, volume equals 24 centimetres cubed. Let's do another example. So here we have a shape again. Let's find how many cubes are in the top layer. Again, it's 3 times 4, so that gives us 12 cubes in one layer. Now, how many cubes would be in all of the layers? Now, there's five layers. Okay, and to work out how many would be in five layers, we're going to go 12 times 5, which gives us 60 cubes in total. Therefore, the volume equals 60 units cubed. Now, if you don't get um, a unit of measurement, so say here there's no unit of measurement, we say units cubed. Okay, so it's important to remember that. Fantastic, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you ask